Hi, my name is Keith Lemon and you're watching RWD TV. When I was growing up, um, it wasn't that um, tough or anything because I wasn't bullied. Um, I, w I was envied quite a lot because I was good looking when I was a kid as well. But I would just choose to share my knowledge of the female um, with my fellow males and tell them that they enjoy um, the finger blasting, the smashing of the back doors. And um, that wasn't until I was a bit older because back then when I was seven, I was just telling them, when you stick your tongue in the mouth, they love it. The only thing in my life I've ever had to overcome is probably um, learning to swim. And I did so at um, a bronze level um, where you had to wear pyjamas and save a brick. And I've never had to use that in my life because I've never seen a brick drowning. And if I had, I don't think I'd run home and put my pyjamas on to enable me to save it. I'm sure I could do it in whatever clobber I'm wearing there and then. I have been circumcised, yeah. Because um, when I was a little kid, I had a double jetty. And um, I could never use public toilets because I would piss on the person that's lying to me. So um, the only way to sort it out was to take it off. Smooth as a Wellington boot. The year that I won Businessman of the Year, 93, um, I entered the competition with my product Securipol. If you don't know what Securipol is, then let me tell you what Securipol is. What Securipol is, is a two-foot reinforced aluminium shaft installed in the driveway to prevent evil scumbuggers from stealing your car. It's as simple as a um, car parking post thing that you'd see in a car park, um, but I renamed it the Securipol. Since um, Securipol, um, there's been many highlights. Um, being on television um, was a highlight. The first time I was on television on Keith Lemon's Very Brilliant World Tour, which is available on DVD. Um, that was a highlight. But I also remember when I first um, hooked up with Holly Willoughby and Fern Rotten Cotton, uh, and that was quite a highlight. As though, I know I give her a lot of grief, but I'd love to make love to her ass. I did a workout DVD called Keith Lemon's Fit, which is available on DVD. That was a highlight. Winning a BAFTA at, indeed, the BAFTAs um, was a highlight. But another highlight was probably when I made a film, which is at the cinema near you, August 24th. Can't believe it. The film has uh, many cameos from many of my celebrity friends, including Gary Barlow, Emma Bunton, Mel C, Jason Donovan, Peter Andre, Tinchy Strider, Rizzle Kicks, David Asseloff, Gino DiCampo, Holly Willoughby, Fern Cotton, um, Denise Van Outen, Paddy McGuinness. Um, yeah, it's an incredible movie, which I think you should go see and put your brain in your bag and just enjoy it, because it's fucking daft, but it's ace. I've been describing it on all, all seriousness as a film. Uh, it's a small film with a warm heart and a massive cock. I like Jesse J at the moment. I like uh, Paloma Faith. There was a rumour that me and her were going to do a Christmas song together. And we were, but we was, I was busy with my film that's coming out August 24th. But then I'll go left field and listen to um, Rick Astley and In Excess and Haircut 100. You know, I like a bit of um, CNC Music Factory. Things that make me go, mmm. Things that make me go, mmm. I like that song. You remember that song? Pump up the jam, pump it up while the beat is pumped. That sort of stuff. That's where I think dance music was good. Soul to soul, back to life, back to reality. Swing ball, um, skateboarding, um, BMXing, um, snowboarding, wakeboarding, um, longboarding. Sort of board based um, sports. You wouldn't think it, but I'm a snowboarder. But my toes battered from it. All right, it looks like a pebble. I'll show you, but not on camera, because I don't want to turn any girls off. The Olympics um, that's coming up is so exciting because it's here in the UK, and I just hope that we get no lunatics misrepresenting the UK, like in the recent riots, where they all went on the rob for trainers from shops. Um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. So I'm just hoping that, you know, everyone's on the best behaviour whilst we've got visitors over here. And I hope that the UK Olympians do really well and bring home those chocolate coins. <laughs>